the purpose of the videos is to get you to uh, open your minds and begin to think. Use logic, use reason, and begin to realize that religion is not real. So for this video, what I would like to talk about is a topic where uh, uh, it, was, it was a paper I was writing in my phone. And, you know, I write papers in my phone and I post them to Facebook. And it was a certain excerpt of this paper that I really wanted to discuss. And, and what I talked about in the paper was knowing and believing. And I said, that, you know, that, that believers or Christians will say, you know, I believe in God. I know God is real. Look, I believe in God. I know God is real. So do you believe or do you know? But you can't do both. You can't believe and know. You have to either believe or you either have to know. You can't do both. Makes no sense. So I, I think I might, I even posted this to my Facebook page. And, and side note, for those of you that do uh, come to Facebook and, and befriend me, <clears throat> because Facebook is in the era of so many fake pages and and then you have the little pretty little model sending you pictures and, and folks from other countries trying to befriend you to get you to get them to get, get on, come over here and whatever. It's, it's, it's so hectic that if you do see me, uh, send me an inbox or something. I'm going to post my, my profile picture up so you'll see it. And uh, it's a lot of William Joneses, so look for William B. Love Jones. William B. Love Jones. Now I post a profile picture. If you do send me something, send me an inbox or something say, hey, that's me. I came from YouTube, so I will know it's you, okay? Uh, help, help me, help me, okay? That's all I'm saying. So anyway, you know, there's a lot of things on Facebook now. Since I did the last video about uh, Mother's Rebuke, and since my mother is looking at stuff and my family is looking at stuff and snitching on me, telling her, I had to kind of change my page up. So I got to kind of, you know, use uh, restrictions on certain things so everybody doesn't see what I'm saying because, you know, when you come from a highly religious family, now you're going against that grain. They, you know, they're at an age where they will not change, they cannot change. So I'm making the appropriate changes so they don't see it. Even though I have a couple of my friends be like, you know, make that public so I can share it. And then I'm like, dang. And I'll go ahead and do it or whatever. But let me get back to what I'm saying. <clears throat> you can't believe and know. And, and the question I asked on Facebook was, what is a situation where you can believe and know? You believe and you know. Let, let's say, example, you know your car, whatever your car is, and I've had this happen before, some of you have had it happen before, where you've come out of a, a Walmart, grocery store, whatever, there's a car parked next to you that looks exactly like your car. And you're like, oh, which one is my car? What if that, let, let's, for the sake of the example, say there are three cars just like your car. Three cars lined up, and, and at first glance, they all look just like your car. At this point, you can, you can say, well, I believe this one is my car. And, and don't get all deep. Well, I know my license plate, this, that, that. I, mean, I got stuff on my car, too. But for the sake of the example, let's just keep it simple, right? I, you don't know which one is your car. You pull your keys out, and you hit the button. Beep, beep. And you see the one in the middle the lights flash and the horn goes off, right? See, you, you, you believe one car was yours, but once you hit the, the signal, the, the, the key, then you know which car is yours. So if somebody says, which car do you believe is yours? I don't believe which car is mine. Now, I, I hit the button and the lights went I know this is my car. Once you know, belief goes out the window. So you can't believe and know. You know, I believe that the person that said this to me on the internet was them. I don't know if they catfishing me or not. I believe that's the person, and then you meet them, and it is the person. You don't believe anymore. Now I know that the pictures they posted and this is them is the same person. You don't believe and know. You either believe or you know. 
And the fact that believers have to believe should be proof enough that what you're believing is not real because you don't know. You have to believe it. You believe not knowing. Well, I believe God is real. Okay. I know he's real. No, which, which one is it? Now you just contradicted yourself. I don't believe this is my child and know this is my child. I know this is my child. You believe that's your child? No, I don't believe that's my, that's my child. When my children were born, I saw them come out into the world. So if something happened in, in the nursery or whatever, no, that, that ain't my baby. That ain't the baby I saw come out. Which one? That's my baby. That one right there, that, that is my baby. I, I, I watched her come out. I watched him come out. I don't believe that's my child. I know that's my child. So you bring me some other child and say, this, this ain't my child. Well, we believe this. I don't care what you believe. I'm saying what I know. I know that that ain't the baby I saw come out of her. So where is my child? You understand what I'm saying? You don't believe and know. And if any time believers tell you, well, you just got to believe in God. And you got to have faith. Faith is nothing but another word for believe. Because faith holds no uh, evidence. Because according to what is it, Hebrews 11.1, 1, faith is the substance, or faith is a, uh, oh, come on, that be. Uh, faith is the substance of things not seen. Let me say this, brother. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Thank you. Bottom line is, it's it's a con man's job. Anybody, the people, whoever came up with faith in the Bible or in the religious sense, it's of a con man. Believe for something that has no evidence. You know what I'm saying? It is the evidence of things hoped for, right? Hope for the thing is not seen. That's con man talk. You wouldn't buy a car like that. You wouldn't buy a house like that, insurance like that. You wouldn't be online and buy a phone like that. You, what would you buy? With, with, it's, can I see it? Well, you just got to have faith that it is what I said it is. No, 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 no. Like, again, that, that, that's, that's con man talk for religious people who want to get their money every Sunday to some crook. For what? You know. Side note, let me just say this real quick. Speaking to uh, my coworker at work, and we was talking about tithing. And I'm just this is a real quick side note. We talk. I, I, I said this is the thing about tithing that people don't know. When when they like, let's just say when they sacrifice the animals to the Lord, or when they made sacrifices to the Lord, they they burn the whole animal up. Nobody ate that good meat. They burn the whole animal up. The sacrifice, nobody got the sacrifice. It was burned up, and this is only story form anyway. It was burned up, nobody enjoyed it. But if you really want to know who your God is, find out what account your tithes are going into. That's your God. They ain't burning that money up. They're using that money. That's why they got lavish lifestyles, because they're using your money to do what they want to do. You know, this this this, this money is not feeding any Levitical priesthood. Well, see, I'm on side note. It's not fitting a Levitical priesthood because according to the Bible, only the, the priests of the tribe of Levi were qualified to receive the tithe. No one else could receive it because they didn't receive any land. In, in, uh, in the book of Joshua, when they conquered Canaan and, and, and the land was divided up, they didn't get any land. Their lot was the Lord and they handled his business. And so all the uh, 11 other tribes had to give them uh, tithe to take care of them. There is no 12 tribe. There's none of that. So where is the tithe? Side note, let me get back to knowing and believe. You can't know and believe, all right? Anything else I wanted to cover? Uh, ooh, side note again. Let me say this on the end of this video. I should have said at the beginning, because who, who knows how many of y'all follow this video to the end? Because um, I, did, I did this video before in another video, but I hated the energy on the videos. So I said I can't put that up. And I finally got my new editing system, which is a newer version of my older editing system, so I can at least do a little more than I was doing before. 
but I said this on my Facebook channel uh, about Christmas. Um, this is all, I'm finished with the video. This is just side note for y'all because y'all gave me so much input on the uh, Mother's Rebuke video, the last one I did. Check this out. I was talking about Christmas. And I was talking about getting a Christmas tree. And I was like, well, if I get a Christmas tree, you know, my conscious people be like, oh, you celebrating a European holiday and whatever. And this means this and that means that. But I didn't celebrate it before because I was a Christian. And it went against the Bible in Jeremiah chapter 10 talking about the trees and all the pagan holidays and whatever. But now I just feel so free because I don't, I'm not doing anything because of religion or not because of religion. I'm just doing things because I, I feel like doing it. Am I buying gifts? No. But I will put up this little $50 tree that got the lights already attached on it. And so I posted that on Facebook. You know, should I put up a tree? And I don't want to say what folks say because I don't want to sway what you will say. But say what you want to say. If I say, I just want to put up a tree. I mean, I don't, I don't really care about the Jesus stuff or any religious attachments to it. I'm just thinking about, I'm thinking about putting up a tree. It's still not determined yet, so. But say what you want to say in the comments, you know, help me out, whatever. I just want to see what you have to say. I'm through with the video. Let me get back. You can't know and believe. That was about everything I wanted to say. Uh, got the new video editing process thing, whatever, so I can do some stuff. And... Hey, y'all stay with me here. And I'm going to holler at y'all again. Peace.